Hi, everybody. It is May 31, 2019. Well, an awful lot of your fellow Americans are really living something they have never lived before. Levy breaches are occurring. And, well, let me just go to that right away. Yeah, the Arkansas River is so flooded that it is flowing backward into Lake Conway. You can barely see the street sign down there on the corner. What makes a river flow backwards? Well, not sure. I don't know. Frequencies can certainly do it. And I have never seen frequencies being set off in Minnesota, southern Minnesota. These extremely low frequencies are crossing, which is always the danger side sign. Look at this. Utter madness is what we are living. Violent madness. But I have never seen an extremely low frequency bend. And you will see that in one moment. It's bending across Missouri right there. And then you have these very powerful shots of extremely low frequencies or microwaves. Um, guys, we're at war. Okay? We are at war. And many are going down. This is what we're watching. We, we, we just get to watch people going down. Unbelievable what we are living. But I've never seen frequencies that bend. Wow. Okay. So, we have something new going on. And, uh, all right. Hey, sweetie. Shh. These frequencies, I've never seen them emitted so powerfully in this area. So they're working it. Now, these extremely low frequencies can go through the ground, and they can loosen up, well, the ground, and cause levees to breach, dams to collapse. They can cause earthquakes. They can cause an awful lot of damage. So, uh, yeah, the Arkansas River is flowing backwards. The river is well past its banks, and a creek has pushed right over a levee at the Mayflower Wastewater Plant. Well, are you looking at? Can't can't drink the water. Got to boil it. Um, sewage everywhere. The city has been keeping tabs on the plant with three workers making the same boat trip every day to the facility and the power is off all along the area. At the Pulaski Faulkner County line, the water is going the wrong way of the river back into Lake Conway. Everywhere you look, signs that things are not normal. Things are not normal. Okay, well, when things are not normal, you've got to question what is making them not normal. If you want to believe the climate change lie, go ahead. You never want to do any research, research to find out that uh, weather modification is real. Geoengineering is real. It has been going on for decades. Man controls the weather. These frequencies are extremely dangerous. They can make rivers flow backwards. They can cause levee breaches, dams to collapse. You're living it. You're living a war. So you've got to ask yourself, why are things so not normal? This is probably the worst I've seen it. How often have we heard that? I want to bring to your attention THB 11. 
which I guess is a CBS local affiliate. They have a lot of articles on here for you guys in this area um, and to get the information that you need, Perry County issues flood warning and are calling for voluntary evacuations claiming that once this happens, residents in this community will not be able to leave or enter um, based on the flood warning or based on the flooding. I would think the flooding. So there are a lot of articles right down here and yeah, Little Rock wants residents remaining safe, prepare as flood water rises. And you know what? They're saying this is going to last for a week or 10 days. More and more flooding taking place. So record flood waters top levee just outside Dardanelle. Well, let's listen to this broadcast, which is heartbreaking. I, I toad suck. I guess that's a town in Arkansas along the Arkansas River. Actually, we uh, drove over the Highway 60 bridge. We have a different look now. Uh, look behind us. This is a home uh, halfway, I'd say, about underwater. Um, a lot going on over uh, this side of the bridge. We're now in the Pope County area. Um, water flowing into this part of town. You can see a gas station over here. Um, this is a heartbreaking situation, the Toad Suck One Stop. You can see along the edge of the gas station where the owners have desperately tried to save their property, but that water continuing to rise uh, up over the levee, or not the levee, excuse me, over um, the sandbagging uh, operation that they've had going on here. Uh, you would think we are on the river but this is not the river i mean this is how bad these flood waters really are so we're talking lots of water uh like you said marielle um not expected to crest until sunday here at toad suck and okay so uh you've got creeks you've got rivers you've got lakes overflowing this is on the uh, national weather service little rock Arkansas site, the rivers, the latest levels of these rivers, Van Buren, 40 feet, flood stage 22 feet, and the projected crest, well, I guess it'll crest sometime June 1st tomorrow, um, Ozark, it's at 374 and a half feet, flood stage 357. Dardanelle, 45, well, 46 feet. Flood stage, 32. Mor Morlton, Morlton, 42.7 feet. Flood stage, 30. Toad suck, uh, 284 feet. And flood stage, 275. Uh, Little Rock, 26 or 27 feet, flood stage 23. Pine Bluff, 48 feet, just rounding it off. Flood stage, 42 feet. Pendleton, 33 feet, flood stage 31 feet. Expected to crest at 36 feet. Pine Bluff, cresting at 51 feet. So all of these areas, you're looking at more and more flooding. And these levees don't seem to be, well, working for you. So this flooding is so massive. This is the levee breach that took place, um, I think, early this morning. Yell County, all of this water. It, the, 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 there are levee breaches, yeah, all over, and you can expect more and more of these breaches. So, 
you know, it's really, God, it's so frustrating. Frustrating is an understatement, considering that we know we're at war. We know that they are manufacturing these weather events using the frequencies against us, using electromagnetic frequencies and the weather as a weapon. And then, you know, what we hear from people, never seen anything like it. Never has been this bad. Um, water, the, the river is now going backwards. Uh, <clears throat> and people just don't want to listen to us. Now, I apologize. This heat has really gotten to me in South Carolina. And by the way, we're now looking at really severe weather for the weekend. Those states that were experiencing the heat wave, now we're looking at severe weather. Um, but I don't know what it is. I am experiencing just not feeling okay. I don't know if any of you guys in the southern states have been feeling the same, um, but I'm experiencing symptoms that are making uh, just the day not so great, hard. So I hope that you will be patient with me. It's never done this. It's never done this. Arkansas River keeps flooding, testing levees and patients. The Dakotas down to Louisiana, which have been dealing with weeks or even months of record-breaking flooding along the Mississippi River and its major tributaries. Back-to-back -back rainstorms have swept across the region, sometimes dumping inches of rain in just hours. Why? Why it's climate change. Climate change is causing more extreme rain, which is causing more extreme flooding. You know, I, I, I want to go into these newsrooms, you know, and just scream. Get off the fucking lie. The hell is wrong with you? And, and I'm talking about everybody who works at these news outlets. The frequency and intensity of heavy precipitation events across the United States have increased. Of course they have increased. Guess what? So have the frequencies increased and the intensity of the frequencies. They have increased too. Causing. Causing extreme rain, which causes extreme flooding. Now this bend, oof. What is happening here? Never seen it. Never have I seen this bend. Okay, so they are doing something right here. Missouri, Iowa, Southern Minnesota, Dakotas, uh, Kansas, Nebraska, Oklahoma, Texas, you got tornadoes last night, severe weather last night. My God, it just doesn't stop. So, all right. Um, frequency and intensity. Breaking records. Army Corps of Engineers, which helps oversee the levees, said many of them are not designed to hold back flood water at all. It's designed to hold back water in low water conditions to ensure we have a nine foot channel for barge traffic. And water has come over the top of a handful of levees on the Arkansas, including a major break, Dardanelle, overnight on Thursday. People don't want to evacuate. They don't want to evacuate. You know, they say this isn't a flood zone, supposedly. Talking to some of the neighbors who've lived here for years, it's never done this. It's not a flood zone. It's not going to be that bad. 
you're at war. They're using weather as a weapon. Please understand, flooding can occur anywhere. It doesn't matter if you're not in a flood zone. If they want to bring it to you, they will bring it to you. So, water flows through 40-foot hole after Arkansas levee fails. Nothing we could do to stop it. Nothing we could do to stop it. Yellow County levee. So, let's just take a quick look at the massive flooding. And oh yeah, more farms. More farms are gone. Overnight, more farms are gone. So this is flooding in western and central Arkansas. Yeah, we're the, this scale it is it's so massive. It is, it's like you know when you're in a war and they're dropping bombs. You come together. You're not fighting everyone in your community. You all stand together. You're united, you know, in your survival. And, well, you know what the enemy is doing. They're dropping bombs. They want to kill you. With this war, this was truly, I think, the only way that they could take down this country. Because if they were dropping bombs, Americans would unite and they would uh, fight for their survival because they would understand what is going on. Using unconventional weapons, especially weapons that are invisible, well, what then you just live every single day in, in utter madness. Look at the scale of this flooding. And when you happen to be, you know, one of the few who understand what's going on, yeah, don't you want to, you know, have the conversation with your neighbors and say, look, we're at war. Don't you want their response to be, really, okay, let's sit down and talk about this. I didn't know. <laughs> well, no. So, you end up with no support watching people, animals, watching life get destroyed. Then you understand you know, all of the implications and the future ramifications, the ripple effect of all of this. Farms are, they're destroying the independent farmer farmer and what what then happens to all of us we all there is a ripple effect we all will suffer this the price of food is going to increase this is the Yale County this is due to the <laughs> levee breach levee breach. I mean, it's just the flooding is massive. Massive. And heartbreaking. You know, adults, they, they, look, it's your choice whether you want to remain ignorant and just believing this you know, idea that it's climate change or believing that this is an act of God, believing that, oh, well, you know, we uh, built homes near a river and we should never have done that. Believe whatever it is that you want. You, it's your choice, you know, and your choice to believe a lie, to maintain that lie in your head, to remain willfully ignorant 
it makes you an enemy. It makes you complicit with this war. And you are the reason why they can continue to do this. But children, wildlife, they don't have a choice. And that's why I get really angry at adults who just, well, like being stupid because it's more comfortable for them. Or like being naive little children, maintaining, you know, this lie, accepting all of the lies that they're hearing from their government officials because Accepting the truth, well, that's just too scary. Guess what? Adults deal with the scary stuff. Adults, it is their job to protect children. Oklahoma. The scale of the flooding across green country is really hard to comprehend. Osage Sky News 6 HD has flown over most of the flooded areas this week. News on 6's Brian Dorman shows us the scope of the devastation. Keystone Lake is still releasing 1.6 million gallons of water per second into the Arkansas River. That's less than earlier this week, but neighborhoods along the river are still underwater. Authorities worry levees could fail, prompting evacuations in Sand Springs and Tulsa. The Arkansas River's flooding extends into Bixby, where the waters threaten the high school and damage several homes. Other rivers and lakes are also outside of their banks. Ulaga Lake is releasing about half a million gallons per second right now. Flooding in the lake has caused damage to the Wiganon Road Bridge, forcing it to close. Ulaga flows into the Verdigree River, which has caused widespread flooding in Rogers and Wagner counties. The Verdigree and the Osho Rivers merge with the Arkansas between Muskogee and Fort Gibson. The Arkansas River now looking more like a lake there, and more than 2,000 people can't get to their homes. Large parts of Muskogee and Fort Gibson are underwater, including parts of Muskogee's industrial park. From there, the now massive Arkansas River flows into Weber's Falls. The entire town is flooded and could be for several weeks. From Weber's Falls, the river flows into the state of Arkansas, where flooding is now crushing records in Fort Smith. Brian Dorman, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6. Uh oh That was a pretty good uh, news broadcast in terms of reporting on the scale of the flooding in Oklahoma. And this just in aerial view of Arkansas River flooding in May. It's not exactly the same, but this is the latest aerial. And you know what? You're looking at more and more, more and more coming your way. I'm so sorry that you guys have to deal with this. Um, You know, it's with Harvey in Houston. My God, did that get tremendous amount. It got a tremendous amount of attention. And this flooding here, central United States, all the way, I'm talking Minnesota and Michigan and Wisconsin and North Dakota and South Dakota and uh, on down, you know, to the states that, you know, Nebraska and Kansas and Iowa, Illinois, um, Ohio. And not to mention all of the flash flooding, Pennsylvania, uh, there's so many states. But this, this central United States flooding, when you see homes, okay, that are literally just sitting in water, and you can only see the rooftop of the, these homes, and you know how many homes have been flooded out, and you know that more are coming, you know, Okay, we have selective care going on in our country. Houston gets all of this attention, not for the right reasons, but that's also another thing that people have to question. Okay, uh, so much focus on Houston, and it's usually the big cities that get the attention, not the surrounding areas, the, the communities, the towns, the smaller towns. Um, they get hardly no attention, but 
you have to wonder, okay, what's going on here? When we see homes that are literally under water, the rooftop is the only thing that you can see. The scale of... You know, um, so many cars sitting underwater, and, you know, but you know that this is occurring in not just one state. It's, uh, it's occurring in multiple states, and we're not, we see that there's a real difference between the attention that these two flooding events are getting. You have to wonder why. Now I've posted a video stating why I think, well, Houston got all of that attention because the fundraising, Google, donate uh, to Harvey, uh, Red Cross, donate to Harvey, Walmart, cashiers. Are you, you know, wanting to donate to the Harvey victims? The celebrities come together. The presidents come, the former presidents come together. They collect nearly a billion dollars, all told. And I posted videos trying to get a total on how much they were raking in from donations. And it neared one billion dollars. Nothing in terms of, uh, you know, it's like you see no donation at all. And you walk around in your life and it's like, hey, everything's just going along swell. No, nothing's going along swell. Your fellow Americans are getting flooded out. Um, tornadoes are taking out their homes, their towns. And don't you care about them? No. Uh, so no donations for the central United States states because they're not in the mega regions. That's, they collected nearly a billion dollars to uh, renovate the Texas Triangle for the smart cities, for the Agenda 2030 reshaping of the United States. These, these areas, sorry, you're just not in a mega region and we will just destroy you completely. And if it takes several years to do it, fine, but we want you out of these areas <clears throat> and we are not going to be renovating these areas because these are the areas where there will be no human habitation. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then please go to my playlists, do some research on Agenda 2030, Look at the agenda or America 2050 map, the reshaping of America into mega regions, and you will see that the central United States is the gray zone where they don't want humans habitating anymore. So you're getting destroyed. And I can't believe that all we can do is watch this, watch it instead of fight it. Yeah, I will be perpetually frustrated. just um, based on that, you know, I wish that we could reach our fellow Americans, my God. Unconventional warfare. No way would they have been able to succeed with conventional warfare. Not with Americans, you know, with all of the guns that they have. They, and, well, forget about the frequencies. You know, if they tried to take over this country decades ago by conventional warfare, they would not have succeeded. And they knew it. And that's why they have implemented the boiling frog scenario to bring about the complete destruction of all aspects of life slowly. But now, because they know that the American people are in a condition that they can't, they can't uh, act responsibly even in their own uh, best interest, their survival instincts are gone. Gone. And now they can light up these radar sites with frequencies. We know the danger of them. They can, it doesn't matter because we can't get through to anybody. We're, dead. we're, we're gone. The American people are gone. And I'm sorry I go on and on. 
I, I just can't stand what we're watching, what we're living, you know. Look at that, boy. Wow. All links are black.